Lewis Nitro 91. Um, first of all, I want to thank my God, Yaha, for all the blessing He has given me. And one of those blessings He has given me is knowledge. And I always ask Him for knowledge. And, and every time that He opens my eyes to the truth, I just feel very emotional and please bear with me and um, listen to what I have to say because I'm here not to agree with anyone I don't make my videos to agree with anyone I'm, I do my videos to show you the truth and to separate the belief that has been implanted into us since we were little kids with truth with fact with proven truth and here's one of those proven truth that I can prove to you with the things that has always been in our faces and we never cared to look and to discover till now. So many people call God many names, okay? So why they call God many names? Because the name of God has never been changed. We always been looking for the changed name of God, which has never been changed. The name of God has been hidden away from us, hidden. Not change, but hidden. And here's the way I'm going to prove it to you. Now you got to remember, please bear with me. Bear with me. And try to listen to what I have to say. But this is really important. you got to remember that this name Yahweh, it was, it was mentioned by scholar, scholar people. Okay, people, PhD people. And you know what, what I think about the PhD people. You know... If you know, if you've seen my other videos, I mean, you know what I think about that with people that has PhD. I'm not saying that all of them are bad or wrong or whatever is the case. No, I'm not saying that. But most of them are. Okay, so try to ignore this name for a minute. And, and, and let's focus on the real name of God, which is written in ancient Hebrew. Okay? Now you know that ancient Hebrew, you have to read ancient Hebrew from from right to left, okay? So so this is the letter Y on, he, on ancient Hebrew, okay? So this is the letter Y on in, in English. This is the letter A in the ancient Hebrew. This is the letter A in English. This is the letter H in ancient Hebrew. That's the letter H in ancient Hebrew. This is the letter A in ancient Hebrew because this letter is the same as this one. Okay, so why they replace the A with the W? Yeah, I've told you many times that this is this is a symbol, an Egyptian symbol. See, one, two, three, three triangles or three V as viper, which is one of the symbols of them, in one. Three V in one. As above, so below. See? So forget about this name for now and look and focus on the ancient Hebrew name of, of God, the Most High. Y A H A. So it's Yaha. Yaha. You see? Now there's. <laughs> There is no argument on the true name of God. We uh, we have discovered the true name of God and is Yaha. This is why YouTube has been been messing around with my video so so more than it, than ever before. Because they know that this is the true name of God, which is Yaha, and 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 putting it in 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 you know. In, his, in the right pronunciation and it's not Yahweh because you got Y A H and an A Yaha okay so <laughs> here's another discovery many guys including me I was calling Christ Yeshua right well guess what not in, and not until I can prove this I will not call him Yeshua anymore. I'm going to call him just Christ. 
because here here we go again look at this you got the y the a and the h right yeah okay so how is it possible that we have an s h u a here when the a is this and is it not even here so my next assignment my next research is to figure out what these letter means in our vocabulary in English okay so far this is so good because this is yeah okay so here's yeah there's no way this is uh, this is sure you know and if I'm wrong I'm not gonna tell you that I'm wrong and if I'm right I'm gonna tell you that I'm right but so far I know that the true name of the Most High God is Yaha Y A H A and not there's no W found in in, 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 in this letters and the Jehovah Witnesses all oh, know that's just a, 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 a temagron whatever they I, I can't pronounce it right no this is the real name of God period and if he says that's his name that's his name it doesn't matter if he if it's one letter or not but that's what he's called you can't you don't have the authority to change his name no one does so this is why they've been hitting his name his true name to us this is why YouTube has been messing around with my video so so more than often here it is I prove it to you why a h a yaha agree or don't agree that's proven fact that that's the true name of the real God and it is not Yahweh remember that Yahweh the name of Yahweh was from scholarship um, archaeologists that were trying to decipher his name and they got it wrong if you don't think that I'm right, just do the research. But I did prove to you that the true name of God is Yaha. So please don't be praising two false gods, or not false gods, but other gods. Because maybe Yahweh is another God that is not the, the, the Most High. You got to remember um, powerful fallen angels made an oath. And who knows if these other names that everyone has been praying to is fallen angels and not the true name of God it's not the true name of God they're deceivers and they will not let us know his true name unless you have the blessing of the most high and I have that blessing and I pray to him every day every single moment for 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 for, for everything that he has shown me and, and given to me and he has blessed me and I know that I know that because what things I've discovered not even the most intelligent people on this planet have discovered but this humble person comes to you without any charge without accepting any Illuminati money okay because I had offer from radio station and TV shows calling me sending me messages did they want me on their TV show or in, on their uh, um, radio station but no no the knowledge that my father has given to me is not for sale it's for everyone to know everyone who's seeking his true name everyone who seeks for him through his son Christ so here it is now if you don't believe me Go to the Bible and 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 look for uh, Isaiah forty two eight. He, the Most High God, says, "That is my name for time indefinite." So how come people call him call uh, calls him Jesus when when he doesn't he doesn't, he's not called Jesus, or he's not called Yeshua? Don't get things mixed up. Because if 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 Christ was gone, like many people calls him, how come Christ doesn't know the time and date he's going to come to planet Earth again? Only the Father, the Most High. How come he didn't know the, the death of Lazarus when Lazarus died? 
and, and, and Christ wept because he didn't know that Lazarus died but the Most High God did and I have proven to you that there are three different entities and they're not the same I told you they're the same in thoughts but not in body but in thoughts it's like my son and me and my wife we have rules in the house and we think alike we are one family one head that's how Christ think of his father so here it is proven again Y A H A Yaha God bless all those seeking the true name of God Yaha through his son Christ now please let's research this and I need your help like always God bless Bye.